Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shreya Ma, and I am a graduate of Imperial College London, and I'm also the newly appointed CEO of National Express. So without a doubt, the biggest problem that the company is facing at the moment is simply the debt and the vast amount of it. As a result, there's a lot of pressure from the government for us to repay this debt. Um, so we've come up with a couple of solutions to help. Uh, recently, we've actually uh, had the installment of a rights issue, which has actually you know, given the company £316 million pounds in liquidity. Being in harsh economic times, the group itself actually performing quite well. Uh, revenue and profits are been increasing year on year, uh, and the future is looking good. If you look at all our individual operations, internationally and domestic, again, we're improving every year, year on year, increasing profits, increasing revenues. Um, however, the biggest issue at the moment actually is our train service, um, which is obviously an obvious uh, primary concern to us. Traditionally, National Express has always had the vision more is less. And being the new CEO, I want to carry this forward and build on it. As a company, we want travel to enrich people's lives. Since privatisation, uh, rail use has actually been increased. This is a positive thing, but there are limits to how much this can be done. Uh, as a result, capacity has become an issue, and t adopting the new strategy uh, will address this, this problem and others. So our strategy is a two-fold strategy. The first part focuses mainly on our background operations, while the second part sees us entering into a joint venture with Stagecoach Group. Okay, so let's start by looking at the background operations strategy. Firstly, and most importantly, we're going to redesign the website. We're going to make it much more user-friendly, much more professional looking, have a multilingual option so you know, those who don't speak English as their first language can access the website. And also we're going to add in a few more visual attractions, for example, some interactive maps. Secondly, prices. Living in the current economic times that we do, people are not willing to pay high prices for travel. As a result, we were going to have to lower our prices to match our competitors. Thirdly, marketing. National Express marketing has always been based around facts and figures, who they are, what they do. Our new tag is going to look into more about the travel experience that the customer can expect to receive when travelling with us. Fourthly, a mobile application. Currently, we are living in a world which is a digital era, so people like their technology. Producing a mobile application will allow people to access National Express on the go. They can see travel up updates, they can see you know, when their next train, train is, timetables, etc. They can even buy our tickets on, uh, through their phone. Lastly, the contact us section on our website. Currently, it's only available through uh, an email. Not everyone likes to contact through email. Sometimes they prefer just to speak to someone on the phone. It's a lot faster, much easier, and much more a good way for, uh, for the company to interact with our customers. The second part of our strategy sees us entering into a joint venture with Stagecoach Group. Venture will see both companies' UK rail operations combining under a new entity known as, and brand known as the National Stagecoach Express, otherwise known as NSE. In terms of the financial aspect of the venture, National Express would receive a 47.4% economic rate and that Stagecoach would receive 52.6% economic rights. In terms of voting rights, National Express would receive 52.6% and Stagecoach 47.4%. So why do we pick Stagecoach to enter a venture with? Well firstly, financially, they've been performing extremely well over the previous years by producing year-on-year profits and an increase in revenue. As independent companies, currently they both cover different areas uh, of the UK rail market. 
and uh, as a combined brand, the NSC will cover major geographic and strategic areas in the UK. Thirdly, both companies have very similar cultures with major stresses on customer satisfaction and an improved working environment for their employees. We both encourage uh, free-flowing communication and a flatter hierarchy. So how are we going to implement this venture? Well, we're going to do it in 10 stages. First, to, to commence at the beginning of 2010, and the last to be completed by the 1st of February 2017. In summary, we aim to renegotiate the return of the East Coast Line, change all stagecoaches franchises to the NSC brand, and renegotiate the franchises of National Express. The 10 phases. Phase 1. Both companies are to agree to the venture and the brand NSC is born. Phase 2. The renegotiation for the return of the East Coast Line franchise under the, the NSC brand. And the Megatrain franchise to be rebranded as NSC Megatrain. Phase 3. All East Coast Line trains are to bear the NSC logo bid pending. Phase 4. NSC to renegotiate the contract and rebrand the franchise for NSC East Anglia and Stansted Express. 5. NSC to renegotiate C2C franchise under the new NSC brand, NSC Essex Thameside Line. Phase 6. Southwestern lines to be changed to the NSC brand and renamed as the NSC South Western Line. Phase 7. East Midland Train Line franchise to be changed to the NSC brand and renamed as NSC East Midland Midlands Line. Phase 8. NSC East Anglia and NSC Essex Thameside to bear the NSC logo on all their trains bid pending. Phase 9. NSC South Western Line contract is terminated and to be renegotiated. Phase 10. Expand the, the NSC brand by bidding for new franchises. So what are the advantages of this venture? Well, firstly, both companies have worked together and formed a long-lasting partnership which would strengthen each other and, more importantly, strengthen their positions in the UK uh, trade industry. Secondly, we would also, both companies would reduce their shared risks and also their shared costs. Thirdly, both companies would give each other stability in the UK trade industry, which has suffered very badly as a result of the economic With National Express moving forward, we are fully committed into maximising our shareholders' wealth. So I hope the breakdown I've given you to our new strategy has given a clear insight into how we intend to spend our shareholders' investments. So in summary, we hope to solve our increasing concerns on debt and with the new brand of the NSC, we will produce a market-leading transport services company that will help to put National Express back on the road to recovery.